Let's jump into the record level access. We're starting with org-wide defaults. Org-wide defaults run on a controlled by parent model. This means that if you have records that are related and part of different objects, you will only be able to access the child object if you have access to the parent object. In other words, the access that the parent is giving transfers down to the child related records. Let's have a look at what they look like. All right, let's have a look at some org wide defaults. So I'm here in my sharing settings and you can see I can see my org wide defaults right here. So let's go ahead and edit them. And I'm wanting to update my account to be private. And when I do this, it's telling me that my opportunity access must also be private when the account access is set to private. That's no problem. You can see here that I've set the contact as well to be controlled by parent. And the parent of the contact is the account. So this means that the contact will also be private by default. There are three levels of all wide access that we can give. The first is private. Private is where only the record owner and those above that record owner in the role hierarchy can view, edit, and report on those records. The second option is public read only. This is where all users can view and report on certain records, but not edit them. Only the record owner and those above the record owner in the role hierarchy can edit that particular record. The final option is public read write. This is where all users can view, edit, and report on all records. There is a fourth option called public read write transfer, where all users can view, edit, report on, and transfer records, but this is only available for leads and cases. Finally, the last option is public full access. This is where all users can view, edit, report, transfer, and delete records, but it's only available for campaigns. Let's have a look at roles and subordinates in the role hierarchy and how this affects security. For role hierarchy record sharing, Access is given based on the role a user has in the organization and the users that have roles above that person in the role hierarchy. This is allowed in Salesforce through the grant access using hierarchies checkbox. This checkbox is automatically ticked for all standard objects and cannot be changed. Users in higher roles than others in the hierarchy can view, edit, and report on all data that is owned or shared by users lower than them in the role hierarchy. The third layer of access for record level access in Salesforce is sharing rules. Sharing rules extend access among users based on public groups, territories, or roles. Public groups consist of a set of users. A group can contain individual users, other groups, or users of a particular role or territory. Manager group sharing is a special type of sharing rule that is designed to share the records of a user with just their manager. This is important because you might want to be sharing records with your manager, but not with everyone in the company who is higher than you in the role hierarchy. This is much more secure than hierarchical sharing. To enable manager group sharing, you need to check the manager group's checkbox in sharing settings. Create a sharing rule for the particular records that you want to share, and then make sure that the grant access using hierarchies checkbox is deselected so that not everyone in the hierarchy can see those records. The final level of access that we can open up for records is manual and team sharing. Manual sharing involves the sharing button, which we can place on records, and that gives access to individual users to a particular record. That sharing button can be used to see all the users that have access to that particular record. 
If it doesn't appear, it's likely that your org-wide defaults are set to controlled by parent or public read. As well as manual sharing, we can have teams. There are three key teams that we can set up in Salesforce. There are account teams, opportunity teams, and case teams. These allow certain groups of users to work together on those particular object records. A case team to work together on particular cases, an opportunity team that works together to sell or close a particular opportunity, and an account team whose job it is together to manage that particular account. In a case team, the roles that each person has in that case team determine the access they have to that particular record. Opportunity teams are not enabled by default, but the admin, the opportunity owner, or anyone above the opportunity owner in the role hierarchy can put together an opportunity team for a particular record. They also have the power to create default opportunity teams. Just like the case team, each person in a opportunity team can have a specific role, and these roles determine the level of access that a user has to that opportunity. The access they can have can be read-only or read-write, and it can't be any less than the org-wide default for the opportunity object. Having access to an opportunity via opportunity teams will give users read-only access to any related accounts or contacts. We can also add custom fields to the opportunity team object. Members of an account team will automatically have read-write access to any related contacts. Optionally, you can give users in the account team access to related opportunities and cases, and this can be either read-write, private, or just read.